now, or we are joined now by Sonia Friedman and Colin Callender, the producers behind Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Okay, first question. How do you get a ticket to this show? Because it's a hot ticket. I know somebody. I don't uh, know. Maybe we can help you out. Five easy ways. Go onto the website. They'll tell you. That's right. You know what? I've seen it twice now. And we polled audience members outside of the show in New York. And they all said they're getting their tickets was so easy. So oh, that's very good to hear. Yeah. Just, just so you know. Just yeah, so you know. We've tried hard to make that happen. Yeah, we've tried hard to make it happen and to make it as accessible as possible. Exactly. So go online if you want tickets for Harry Potter. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. That's amazing. So you're here tonight. You're represented. You're representing the show. You're nominated. What are you most excited about and looking forward to for this evening? I think we're very happy that the whole creative team has been a, a, a nominated and recognized, don't we? Yeah, we're, absolutely. Apart from Imogen Heap, who wrote the music, who, who wasn't eligible um, because it wasn't new music. But yeah, everybody here involved with the show for the last four or five years is here. We've invited our associates. We've got many of the cast here. It's been an extraordinary collaborative journey. And so tonight is just an, a milestone for us, um, whatever happens. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is playing like a rock concert at the Palace Theatre in London. It's playing like a rock concert at the Lyric Theatre here in New York. When did you guys know you had a rock concert on your head? Um, well, we were very cautious through we the process. Were. We didn't assume anything because, you know, the Harry Potter fans, if they don't like you, they tell you. Yeah. And we had, to, we had to appeal to the fans and to audiences that didn't know Harry Potter. But I think we learned very soon. We knew on our first uh, well actually the first open dress rehearsal where we invited uh, a thousand super fans and we looked at each other and we held each other's arm at the back of the stalls and we said we think we're okay so when you be be before we head to break, uh, what's happening with Dreamgirls? I know you guys are closing in London, but are we getting it on Broadway anytime soon? Well, Colin's going to be my partner on Dreamgirls. Um, very much hope so. It will all be casting and theatre dependent. But watch this space. We're working on it. Yeah, we are so looking forward What, what to are your dream theatres? Uh, Come on. <laughs> well, actually, one of the dreams yet is the one we've already have. I mean, have you seen the, well, you've seen the show at the new Lyric Theatre. Haven't right. they done a great job with it? It's amazing. I'll tell you what, I'll, 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 do, a, I'll do a call out to all the theatre owners. It needs to be about 14 to 1,500 seats, not any larger, not much smaller. Um, and it needs to have um, a bit of atmosphere in the space. Other than that, we'll take anything. You heard it here first. We heard it here first. Congratulations. Congratulations, you guys are going to have a great night tonight, I know it, congrats, thank you so much. Well, Nikki.